Hey folks, today we have the uh, NR750 by Pudibai, P-U-D, uh, Poodle by, uh, P-U-D-I-B-E-I, Pudibai, I guess is what you would call it. Um, I'm not sure what to say, it, how to say that, but anyway, this is our uh, radiation uh, monitor, and again, it's the NR750. Um, there are several different vendors on eBay and Amazon for it, but watch out for knockoffs. Make sure you get uh, one from a reputable uh, dealer. So read reviews and make sure that seller is reputable, okay? Uh, the next thing we have here is our nuclear radiation safety guide, and this tells you uh, counts per minute, microsieverts, and millirads, okay? So a lot of people are confused by all this. Don't be... Uh, they're just physics uh, equations or uh, mathematics in the field, so not a big deal. Just know that they all have a danger level, don't they? See, it goes from green to red of get out, right? Okay, so no one be aware of that, so don't be uh, too panicky if you're trying to use one of these and it seems confusing to you. Um, get a Rad Health card or a nuclear radiation safety guide. Okay, and make sure you keep this with your detectors anyway. You should have that in case you forget. You know, you may let it sit for a year, throw some batteries in it, and now you can't remember what you're supposed to be knowing. However, it does have an alarm. So let's move it away from our source, and let's take a look at what we're doing. And what do we have? Our background radiation, it will slowly count up. It'll probably get to around 0 0.10. Yep. And so it's probably going to float around a little bit. There's constant radiation around you. However, when we look at our rad card, okay, do we need to worry about that in microsieverts? Look at the microsievert box, okay, USV slash H. And what does it say? Okay. So that's your green zone all the way up to 0.33. So were we green? Are we green here? I think we are, okay? And we're uh, far enough away from our source. Survival Lily reviewed this, that's why I got it. Um, she compared it to her $400 meter and it read the exact same as her $400 meter. And I compared it to my GQ and it read really well. So I was very surprised that something I paid $54 for is this good. I believe it has a new tube in it and it is uh, calibrated decently, and uh, it appears to be a device that actually has maybe some quality control. I think it's only reading uh, the tube uh, one time, whereas my GQ reads it multiple times uh, and gives you an average reading. So, what, you know, some of them are technically better. That's why you pay $400 for one versus... You know, I did, this thing was 54 when I got it on sale, by the way. I got it on sale. I think it's normally 70-something. But check eBay, Amazon, and all that. So now let's see what happens when we go into the danger zone. This is our radioactive material. And since it doesn't emit much, okay, and that comes from United Nuclear, by the way. Um, so we pretty much have to put the device on top of it, okay, in order to get it to expose. You can see it's starting to raise. And we're heading to the danger zone. We're getting closer. See how fast it reads this? Okay, we're in the uh-oh zone. Okay, now we're about to go ballistic. All right? There you go. And at one, at one it goes off. Okay, it skipped right from one to like, get the hell out. <laughs> well, it's not get out. What does it say on our card here? Um, it says, very high, leave the area ASAP. Okay? So... And it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep reading and keep reading. It's reading it over and over and over again, okay, our sample. But this is what would happen in a contaminated environment. You're going to get this warning. So a lot of people are freaking out. I don't know this and I don't know that and things. And it's a good idea to read up. No one understands. So you're more comfortable with your device. You know, the USV, the U just stands for micro and the SV is sieverts, okay? So, and the H is our. So no one understand that it's just a term of measurement, okay? And it's used in mathematics, physics, and stuff. 
So not a big deal. And same thing with Millerads, okay? And same thing with CPM, all right? They're used for different reasons. Now we've moved it away from our source. This source does not emit way out, okay? Survival Lily's source emits a lot farther away than mine does, okay? But she has an old watch, an old contaminated watch, right? Back in the old watch factory days and people were losing their hair making watches, right? So this uh, comes from United Nuclear. So it's designed to emit less and be less, um, have a less probability of infecting you. However, I don't know what the safety is of this. I don't know anything about long-term exposure with regards to this sample. So you have to make those decisions for yourself. Safety is your responsibility. Those are my disclaimers. Read, know, and understand everything if you're going to play with radioactive material. Period. End of subject. Those are my disclaimers. Safety is your responsibility. Okay? But you can see it works very well. Now, a little trick that I did long ago, because I actually had to deal with some of this stuff back in my pumping days around the world. Okay, a simple plastic bag. Okay, this can be static, so make sure you're not static charged if you're to do this. But this should be non-conductive material on the uh, device anyway. But you could get a static charge in the bag. But I haven't found that happen yet. Okay, so we're, remember we were, what we were reading before? Okay, now we got a plastic bag on it. Let's put it to our source. And boy, oh boy, I get, boy, it's reading. I guess the bag isn't really interfering with it, right? So there you go. And uh, when you place the tube at different places on the sample, you're going to get different, different readings, but they're going to be very close. It's just the tubes in different places, okay? So if I move it around, see how things change? I might be closer to the tube. I might be farther away. So that's something for you to know and understand too, okay? Know where your tube is in your device. So when you take readings, you know. And now we look back. We're getting an alarm. So we're going to look at our RAD health card or our nuclear radiation card, right? I'm trying to get it in focus for you. And that's going to tell us, sorry, it's just not focusing. It's going to tell us, you know, what to do. Get out of the area, check, do all of that stuff. It tells you what to do. Sorry, it's not reading well. My camera's just not that good. Okay, so let's get it the heck out of there. The longer it sits on there, the higher the reading's going to go because of the type of radiation I have, okay, or the sample that I have. All right, so, but now you see how quickly this responds to being removed from the environment. And boy, it dropped right back down to okay, didn't it? Okay, and now I have a bag, so if I'm in a radioactive environment, I can simply uh, take it out of the bag and put a new one on it for my next exposure, should it take place, okay? And that's just a little trick that I do. I'm not telling you to do it. Again, plastic baggies could conduct static electricity and possibly damage your device. However, I've been doing it for a while. So, and I do the same thing with my GQ. But if you notice, it didn't interfere with our ability to read, did it? Okay. So a bigger Geiger counter isn't going to fit in our little baggie. But this one did. And that way, each time I may, I'm may i going to use my device, I am not contaminating my device itself with uh, radioactive medium being in or on the device. Okay. Because in the back... Um, this one you can't really get into, but it could. It could get in the crevices on the sides or something like that, or the differences in the screen. You could get radioactive particulate stuck on it, and that could mess up your future readings possibly, right? So think about that. Um, and there's our background radiation. It is safe at this time, so we're okay. As soon as we put it on the device, goodbye. <laughs> We just start going so fast. Now, go out and watch Survival Lilies as well. I'm going to get that away so you don't have to listen to the alarm all day. But you see how fast it does react. It's very nice. So I like this device. I am not recommending it to you. However, go out and watch Survival Lilies video. She gives it an extremely high recommendation comparing it to her $500 meter. So pay attention to that as well. Please get a nuclear radiation safety guide card so that you can keep it with your device. Okay, and we were using micro sieverts today. You can go through this and put it on millirads or counts per minute, either 
whatever you want. I will use micro sieverts um, for me. Uh, and again, I got my sample from United Nuclear. So there you go. There's my uh, little video on the NH750 uh, by Pootie Bai or Pootie Bay. Hope you're all doing well. Hope life's treating you good. Life is good. Make it good. And don't forget to get your nuclear radiation safety card. So you guide so you can at least know what's going on. That way you're not as confused. A lot of people are intimidated by these. Please don't be. They're not complicated.